What's up guys, how are you all doing? Hey, welcome to another Maker Monday. Have I got some cool stuff for you today. I just recently, if you guys have been paying attention to me on my Twitter and, and, and uh, social media, you've been seeing that I bought a brand new 3D printer. And it's one that I've seen reviewed a lot here on YouTube. Uh, it's pretty cool. It is the TiVo Little Monster. I'll probably turn the camera around and show you it here in just a second. But um, I wanted you to see some of the cool stuff that it can make. It can print some very large prints. So I did this, this was a vase that I ended up printing that uh, came out amazing quality. Now, those of you who don't know what this printer is, it's basically a humongous, it has a five, it's a Delta printer and it's a 500 millimeter uh, high uh, build volume. I mean, absolutely gigantic. So, and I'll show you it here in a minute. It's, it's huge. It almost touches my ceiling. Um, anyway, but it can print very large things. This was one that we printed. And then my son, he saw another YouTuber, uh, make this. So I had to make it was a rocket. Yes. A giant rocket ship. Now we did break the, the nose cone. So we put some tape on it, but I, I was just printing it as a shell. I wasn't, uh, actually going to 3d print like solid or even with 20% fill on this. Cause that would take far ever but I mean it just goes to show you how large of an object you can print with this 3d printer and this thing is absolutely amazing this is all in PLA that and the vase uh, was in PLA but I've also printed stuff in ABS as well I've been uh, playing with my quadricopter uh, here lately um, as you can see my quad that I built uh, and I built in a different in a different video but also, I've noticed that I've just been raging through propellers because I've been crashing it into stuff because I'm, I mean, let's face it, I'm not that great of a quadcopter pilot. Um, and so it's been busting the deal. So I was like, there's got to be some sort of a guard that I can make. And lo and behold, on Thingiverse, there is these cool looking guards that you can put on there that basically the propeller can't reach the edge of and this slams into whatever first to save your propeller. Well, I wanted to print it in ABS because, um, you know, it's going to be crashing into stuff. Uh, PLA would just break. So, um, I thought what a great test for some practical 3d printing on the, uh, little monster. And so I did it. I only had to make like a few settings adjustments. It only took me like three prints. And now I'm printing in ABS, very strong, very sturdy, very pliable, very good, um, quadricopter propeller guards. Um, just the thing is just impressing me because I saw one YouTuber that had a really tough time with it. It didn't come out right. It wasn't printing good quality. It wasn't having uh, very good luck with it. So it kind of concerned me. But after this, I mean, I, I, I'm not a master builder. I am electrical guy. I am not a mechanical guy whatsoever. I mean, I do do mechanic work and stuff, but I mean, so far as like a, a specialist that I'm no, I'll put it this way. I'm not as good at mechanical work as I am at electrical work. We'll just put it that way. So, um, if I can put this together, I know you can, and it, it's, it's, it wasn't very hard. It didn't take us very long. In fact, when I was, uh, sending it out on Google plus, I was kind of sending out the progress of it. Um, I had one, uh, one of you guys comment and was like, wow, that, that was fast. You guys put that together really quick. And I was like, yeah, it, it didn't take very long. I even have a video of it. Uh, let's see how much time we got. I'll probably go ahead and play that. Um, we'll add that to the time, but uh, I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you a quick uh, build sequence. I will do a full review of it, but let's let's take a look at the at the quick build sequence. It's only a couple minutes, so we'll take a look at that.
Okay, so that was that was pretty cool, wasn't that? Uh, so it, it didn't take very long. It was just me and my son. You can see my son there putting it all together. Um, it really didn't take us very long. Now, of course, I sped up that footage, and I wasn't able to get all the footage because the camera, like I was said, in, or, or I don't know if I added that piece at the end, but uh, there's a part where um, I talk about... Maybe that's in the full footage. Yeah, I've got a full footage that I'm going to add to a review video that I'm going to be doing for, for this thing. But um, in any case, I, the camera died like halfway through, and so I had to charge it. So it didn't catch a lot of the wiring of it. But the wiring is super simple, super straightforward. You just snap the snap the, the, the plugs together. You just plug it all in and everything. In fact, let me go ahead and take you guys. Let me get you off the tripod, and I'll at least show it to you so you see what it looks like kind of in real life. Give, give me just a second. Okay, so, so here it is. So there's the whole thing. I mean, it is absolutely monstrous. I don't know if you can hear. I'm going to try to one-hand the camera here, so, so bear with me. Um, so you can see me. Okay, there's me. And you can see how gigantic this thing is. I don't know if you can tell how large it really is. But I mean, like, yeah, it goes all the way. To, this is me reaching up. I mean, this ceiling is an eight-foot ceiling. And I don't know, this is probably about four foot high. I don't know, this countertop. So, yeah, this thing is all of, like, like four feet or maybe a little less. But still, it's pretty... <laughs> It's pretty, it's pretty, pretty large. So yeah. All right. I'm going to go put us back down on the, uh, on the, uh, on the tripod. So yeah, so this thing's a monster, isn't it? <laughs> it's pretty cool. So anyway, um, I want to give some other updates real quick. I only have a couple more minutes, but uh, we'll do some other updates as well. If you have not picked up your USB uh, inspector, definitely check that out. I'll leave a link down in the description. It's on Tindy. You can buy these. I think they're only about 10 bucks uh, with about $7 worth of shipping. Um, I do flat rate, so that's anywhere. It's like $7 in some sense uh, anywhere in the US. Um, overseas, it's a little different. I don't have the number right off the bat, but I do have an overseas shipping price um, for those of you that aren't in the United States. But uh, for those of you that are, Pick one of these up. These things are great. Like I showed in one of my posts, um, you could even hook this up to your bench power supply and power your Raspberry Pi with it, or whatever. Let's say if you you know you have a, you don't have a charger that has enough oomph, you know you maybe only have a 200 milliamp uh, charger or something that you hook up to your Raspberry Pi and you hooked up a Raspberry Pi 3 and it needs like half amp or maybe 750 milliamps. Great way, but you got a bench top power supply. Hey, for 10 bucks, bam. You know, so and you got you got your benchtop power supply. You can put all kinds of power to it. So definitely check those out. I'll leave a link down in the description. Um, check those out if you would like one. Definitely grab one. Um, as well as where I'm at with the uh, the little DF robot fire beetle. Um, it's still bricked. Um, I've been contacted by by them though, and they uh, have given me to their development group, and they've given me some suggestions. Uh, hasn't really worked, but hopefully. Um, We'll get something figured out. What I did in case that I can't get this figured out, because I want to keep moving ahead with this project, because it's going to be awesome, I think. This temperature probe thing is going to be cool. So um, what I did is moving forward, I went ahead and I just, they're not expensive. These are only, I think, like 20 bucks or something. They're not bad. So I just bought a couple more of them because I will ultimately do a giveaway and give one of these away to you guys once I'm done with this whole thing. But I, I, I may want to keep one. So I ordered a couple of them. That way, if this one is bricked, I get one and you guys get get one. So we'll be noticing that. And speaking of deals, I know, I know, I know I have slacked so bad. In fact, probably right after this, I will make the video for it, but I need to give this away still. I've got one of these, these buzzy things. And those of you that responded to the One Maker Monday when I said that I'd be giving these away. And if you'd leave a comment, I'll, I'll put your name in the bill. Fear not. I will still from that video, I have your names. I will put them uh, in the drawing still. So you won't miss out. I promise you. So I apologize. I literally just got caught up in a lot of stuff with my family and work and vacations and other things and I just I have totally spaced giving this away but there will be a giveaway video specifically for this uh, smart plug that you can hook up to your Raspberry Pi or hook up to your phone or whatever and control it remotely anywhere I will get that video made and will get one of these to one of you lucky guys uh, or gals to uh, win so anyway all right, guys, I think that might be it. I'm going to check my little deal. Oh, yes, Cortana Pi. That is still coming. I will be releasing next week a video on how to create a custom application uh, with using the Windows IoT Core and Visual Studio with Visual C Sharp. I will be showing you how to code that and deploy it to the Raspberry Pi. In fact, I still have it set up over here on the bench. So I'll be doing that, and then there'll be a subsequent video that we'll incorporate in then putting it together with Cortana, where you can have Cortana activate um, parts of 
the GPIO, basically activate that script. So anyway, that's all in the pipeline as well as many other uh, ideas and things that I have going on. Uh, sorry about those of you that watch me on Instructables. I've been slacking a little bit. I got to get a couple of Instructables for videos I've done already um, out there. I will promise I will get that out there. So in any case, all right, well, guys, that's pretty much enough time uh, or about time for us to go on this Maker Monday. I hope that you guys have a great week. Enjoy the day. Enjoy the time. And if you're seeing this uh, either in the morning or the evening or whatever, I hope that either your day is going to be great or that your day was great, guys. So definitely make sure and hit that like button if you like these videos and want to keep them coming. I will definitely keep it going. I've had a few of you comment say you enjoyed it. So hit that like button. It really helps out the channel as well as make sure and subscribe and and share the videos with everybody that helps out as well don't miss a thing check me out on Twitter instructables and all the social medias I got those down either in the description or on the channel or there somewhere but check me out on different social medias because I do post a lot especially when I get new equipment and new things I post uh, everything because it's a lot quicker than making a video so check me out there and make sure you subscribe to all that so that you don't miss anything right here on this channel so guys I am out of time take care have a wonderful week and we'll see you you next time. Hey guys, M.I. Sperry here. I just wanted to take a few minutes to ask you guys a couple of questions. Do you currently shop at Amazon.com? If so, do you find yourself looking for maybe the fastest way of getting the items that you desire and also looking for a cheaper way of getting the items shipped to you? If so, then you're in luck. I have an offer for you. Have you guys ever heard of the Amazon Prime program? What Amazon Prime is, is Amazon Prime is a membership program. It's a yearly subscription to Amazon. And for the Prime members, you get some special things. A few things to note is you can instantly watch any of the movies or TV shows that Amazon has in their extensive library of movies and TV series. You also get the ability to borrow any of their Kindle books that are marked for the Amazon Prime program, you can borrow them from their huge library of ebooks. That is amazing. Also, you guys get free, yes, free, unlimited two day shipping on any item marked under the Prime program. You also don't have to have any, there's no minimum uh, quantities to buy. So you don't have to buy like 10 or 15 or 20 of something. You can just buy one of the cheapest item. And as long as it's marked for Prime, you'll get it free shipping in two days. That's absolutely amazing. I've been an Amazon Prime customer for quite a while now and we absolutely enjoy it here in my household. We order almost everything through Amazon Prime because of the speed and the ease and the convenience. It is fantastic. It has more than paid for itself in the few years that we've had it. So guys, tell, take this opportunity, go down in the description and click the link down there and start your free 30-day trial of the Amazon Prime. There's absolutely no commitment. Cancel it at any time. But I tell you, once you try it, you probably won't cancel it. I'm not kidding you. It is absolutely amazing. You get everything you need right at your doorstep in two days. Phenomenal, all right? Check out Amazon Prime today. Go down there, check out that link and see what the Prime Life can do for you.